thought I'd just throw together a little video just talking about the, the I guess the first setup on Dio. Um, when we've got everything powered together, oops, I'll just turn the remote off. Um, when we've got everything powered together, I just wanted to, to talk things through a little bit. Uh, also give you a bit of showing on the wiring diagram because I thought it might be useful. Um, so obviously you've got the power switch, you've got the power cable. There's some good pictures on the online guide that shows you how to run that. Um, but what you're doing is you're running the two, the two batteries are running in series. Um, so you, you're kicking out around 14, 14 volts or so, which is giving it the main power. The voltage does drop a little bit when it goes through the motor controller. Um, so you've got your, your, your mega on top. Uh, I put the receiver on here and all the, the cables. Um, at this side then, I've got my little UBEC, which is giving me 5 volts. Um, and then at the back, there's our IMU with all the cables connected. Um, just watch this bit here because this, this bit can catch on the gears. So you just just a little cable tie just to make sure that you know you've got a bit of, a bit of cable management on there. And try and get the cables as, as sort of neat as you can, really. Uh, <clears throat> so there's not a huge amount of room, but there's enough room to fit things in. Um, the batteries. What I tend to do with the batteries is I spin the the battery cable that comes out here, spins round and goes into, and then it connects to the main. Uh, wiring loom on there. I, I've just used normal um, 13 amp cables actually for the power, but obviously um, use whatever you whatever you've got that's appropriate. Um, there's not a massive amount of juice that comes through it, but obviously the the, the motors do run a little bit of it. Um, and then your power switch. This side at the moment is empty, but in here is where I'm going to put the sound. So that's the DF player and the uh, and the little. Uh, nano, but what I wanted to talk about was when you when you first power this up. So don't power it up with wheels on because the first thing you've got to do is try and get the IMU controlling the motors in the right direction. Now the way that the circuit works is, or the way the coding works, is it, is it wants to see a signal from the RC receiver first before it actually will fire through. So the first thing to do is to turn your receiver on make sure you've you kind of uh, got everything where you need to get to really um, and then after you've done that um, you can power up and again you can see on there now I've got a I've got a little signal a little LED light to say I've got a solid signal and everything's powered so the, the first thing to check really is if you if you just keep it in in this frame don't put the wheels on at this stage and just tilt it back and forth like that you should see the wheels starting to move which means you've got yourself balancing now that <clears throat> the hardest well the, the main thing you've got you doing at this stage is you want to make sure that these these um, motors are wired with the right polarity if you get the polarity wrong what will happen is you'll get a bit of a tip and then literally it'll just shoot your deal will shoot off and it's not you know it is a bit a bit dodgy that way so what we're actually if you look at you look at it and the way the way to think about it is this is like a this is like a ladder uh, what it's trying to do is it's trying to so at the moment if you look at this it's trying to climb down the ladder because it's trying to it's trying to move itself to correct if you push it the other way and now it's now it's trying to climb up the ladder so if that sort of makes sense i mean in simple terms i'll show you so from switch side if i tilt to the left it starts to go anti-clockwise if i tilt to the right it goes clockwise so anti-clockwise to the left, clockwise to the right. That's the correct polarity. If it goes the opposite way, don't put wheels on it because that's where it'll just shoot off and fire off somewhere else. So that's the first thing to, to actually check. If you've got both, and, and check both sides of the wheels with that sort of ladder thought, you know, that there's a, imagine there's a ladder at the moment, this is trying to climb down the ladder. Um, that means then you've got both of the motors polarity is, is in the right way. The next thing then is you can start to then play around with the settings on your RC. So uh, so if you kind of, and at the moment it's not quite balanced, but I'm now pushing in forward, left, you turn, turning left, turning right, and you can see the motors turning appropriately. So you just have a little play around with, with the RC um, settings so that works. But the most important thing is getting the polarity and then motors correct in the first instance. What you may find then is that you're pushing forward and he goes backwards or blah, blah, blah. And that's literally just a matter of, of messing around with the 
our seat controls to um, reverse channels. Um, I did talk through, there's some instructions there on how to do channel mixing. So I, I've done channel mixing, so on here, forward, back, left, right. Um, and there's some pictures in the instructions that go through how to channel mix. This, this one I've got for the head that tilts forward and backwards and then the uh, left and right. So that's, um, and then and then I've got a few, I've got these, these two are set up for the main head nod and the head twist. So, so I can turn the head left and right and I can get him to look up, up and down from the head box through there. That does his, um, that does the head tilt side to side. Oh, it's difficult to describe these. And that one pretty much does the, the forward and back motion. But yeah, so that's that's how that works, and that's a little bit of an overview, I guess, on all of the all of the cabling and the wiring. Uh, as I said, I've, I've yet to add the um, the sound. At the moment, I've got this, which is a six-channel controller. But obviously, with the sound, I've got ten-channel controller, so I have a lot more connectors on there um, when we do that. And then we'll fire them off again. So hopefully, a, a quick overview video. Um, but hopefully, that was that was useful just to to give you a bit of a do help.